Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. You have the balance card right here. Okay. The Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Heavy Cancer Energy, Sagittarius Energy out here. Something is moving forward though, okay? Some of you might right now be falling in love with yourself, falling in love with someone. Maybe you're trying to put yourself back out there now to move towards having peace, balance, and harmony in your life. This could be just trying to improve your overall work-life balance. There's a partnership here though that is of significance, okay? This card has a little baby as well. That could be, um, you could be welcoming a child in the future, but you're moving forward. You're being encouraged right now to learn how to have like self-control, more patience. So some of you are in a period right now where you are learning a lot about patience, okay? Balance, having self-control, discipline, being willing to compromise, being willing to forgive, it's because you're being prepared for a partnership. Parenthood. You know, falling. Oh, look at this. Cutting the. Wow. Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. Get out of here. So, this is for sure a union coming for somebody. The Hermit and the Star. Six of Cups and the Emperor. Yeah, this is someone's divine masculine showing up very clearly. Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, The Lovers, Transformation. Somebody is putting everything behind them and they're going towards this very strong connection. This also is just a person right now, even if you've never met this person just yet, this is just the energy of this individual. So, I feel like someone right now is very much removing a lot of toxicity from their lives those of you on these very high level um divine contracts you want another person you know maybe you had a past life with this person or whatever the case may be but someone is walking away from a lot okay someone is on a mission right now to get their life back and i feel like this connection here it's life changing. It it brings about a a transformation. Okay. Like your your entire life is going to change because of this connection or someone feels very empowered right now. But before you can really experience this level of peace here, someone is going to have there's I want to say like unfinished business but it today i don't know why i'm picking up a lot of past life stuff we're in the shadow phase of mercury retrograde right now so i feel maybe that's why but it's like someone is literally packing up and they're leaving everything behind that could be happening now but i'm hearing going on a voyage somewhere someone realizes that doing their life different differently from how they've been doing it over the course of the last five to ten years or even this could even be as big as someone looking over their generations realizing here like somebody could recognize that in their family there's been a lot of masculines who have made a lot of unwise choices and this could be a man or woman doesn't matter but someone is just recognizing that there's a lot of unwise choices that have been made in their life or they're paying attention to the the lifestyle of people around them and they're like no there's a better way to do this so somebody is choosing now to walk away from people who don't have good motives or intentions people who don't have integrity like the people who gossip they lie they slander they they're gambling they're losing money just making a lot of unwise choices somebody is is putting an end to this the ten of swords it could be anything poverty mindset lack mentality limited thinking whatever somebody's just like there's i can do better than this if someone has been like a serial cheater they're like 
somebody's just finding themselves in this place now of wanting to be better. But it's like, I feel that it's a person breaking out of conditioning. The Eight of Cups is here. So someone could be leaving like home, family, relocating or something. And I feel like there's a feminine out here that has just been working to manifest. Like you just been planting seeds. <laughs> Excuse me. For some of you, you don't know. You haven't met this person yet. Or if you have met this person. Or even when you meet this person. You will need to continue investing in yourself because if you have a real divine connection with this person, as you invest in yourself, it's going to trigger this person to invest in themselves as well. But there's like the breaking of like a generational pattern of behavior. This is something that requires patience. But when this comes into your life, it's going to change your life. Or when this person comes back into your life, they're going to be completely changed. Because I'm telling you right now, someone is choosing to walk away from everything that doesn't serve them. I mean, everything. They're choosing a brand new life, a brand new lifestyle because they want to experience this very deep, passionate love. Like someone has been like in the world or they've been closed minded because of what the world has taught them they want to experience like this deeper level of love and intimacy and romance and they want to have good friendships they want to have they just want a good life somebody is very motivated and driven now to have this the hermit yeah and the six of cups with the emperor <laughs> I feel like a part of this is a, definitely a mask. They're healing their inner child. This person could be thinking right now in hermit mode. They may be reflecting even on their past relationships. And they're like, man, why did I do that? You know, this person could have been married before. They're like, why? Why did I get married? I feel like someone was in a very serious commitment. They could even have children for some of you. Somebody is looking at their life like, especially if you know this person already, I don't like to make this type of statement because I, I know that everything happens for a reason. But you have a person right now that's reflecting and they're like, why didn't I meet this divine feminine or divine masculine before I went through all these issues, before I made these unwise choices and had to go through being betrayed or before I went out and, and did all these things and I had to pay back all this karma. Why didn't I, why didn't I see this before? Now, for some of you, you could know this person and they're having a revelation, a download about you. That does not mean that you will end up with this person. You could just be picking up on the thoughts of someone that can see you in your, your light, in your true glory now. And they are regretful of their past, but you're, you've inspired them to want to do better, even if they're not going to end up with you. Okay. This also could be a situation where for some of you, you have a person, they've come out of a, a nasty breakup or, you know, they have an unsupported family or whatever the case may be. And when they come towards you, they're going to be looking for a life partnership. Because somebody here has seen a lot of darkness. Someone has made mistakes. They've been programmed and conditioned. With, with all the wrong, you know, information. <laughs> and with the Hermit card here, I feel like somebody, they see you as the type of person, maybe you're sort of like, maybe you're a Hermit, the star, the Hermit and the star here. Yeah, this could be the kind of person like they're used to going out, being with people who are, you know, a very much on the scene type of person, whereas you're like a barely seen, but always noticed person. You have a light that shines very brightly. And somebody's looking at you like you can make their dreams come true. But I feel that a person is very shocked at how they discovered you. 
you may spend a lot of your time in solitude. So if this is the kind of person like they're a party goer or they like being surrounded by people. If they're even codependent, they always need to be around someone. The connection with you is very, very different. So if you meet this type of person, Spirit, you're going to ha have to be a little bit patient because they've never been with anybody like you before. If this is the kind of person like they're, there's even codependency there, they always need to be around friends. They always need to be a, around family. You're a hermit. Uh, uh, people who are hermits, they like time alone for meditation, for just frolicking, for self-discovery or whatever. They're going to have to be okay with the fact that you may not want them around you all the time or you may be a homebody and they like to be out all the time there's going to be differences and it'll take time for this to sort of balance out but for some of you this is your person but they're going through a major transformation now for some this is someone from your past for some of you it's someone new in your life or coming into your life, but you're gonna go through a period of transformation before you get to this union. So some of you, if you if you met this person already, you could be even experiencing what may be like a, a, a separation. This could be like a twin flame separation. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, yeah. This person, like, I feel like some of you right now with the star, page of pentacles, four of pentacles, especially like this divine feminine energy that I'm picking up on, you guys are working right now on creating some kind of like an, an offer or an opportunity. You could be working on a business. You could be going back to school. You're working on some kind of project right now. And it's going to bring you victory and success, six of wands to three of wands. And the five of cups here, this masculine is just like, yeah, I better hurry up and get get it together. Because this person is I'm gonna miss out on yet another opportunity if I don't match this person. And that's why I'm saying you should never be caught up in waiting for somebody. The more that you grow and you heal and evolve, you will see that if a person is your, you know, your counterpart, you should be inspiring them to do that as well. This person sees a lot of victory and success coming into your life and they're thinking, I better hurry up and walk away from everything that's not serving me or I'm going to miss out on this transformative offer of a lifetime with this lover. But they have to get over the fact that they're so, that the two of you are so different. But you give this person strength like no other. And I feel like you have a lot of spiritual strength here. Leo Virgo energy, Leo Virgo season could be significant. I feel like that's kind of the dynamic of this partnership as well. But you could be dealing with a masculine. They could be a fire sign. They could be a Leo. And you could be like the Virgo energy. Like you may care. I'm, I'm saying you may be into herbs. It's like gardening. I'm just seeing a very earthy, like feminine energy here. And this masculine, they're fiery. They're passionate, you know, but they're a risk taker. They're daring. Your personalities are very different. But there's a very strong bond and connection. The Six of Cups is here. But see, you're, yeah, Nine of Pentacles, strong, strong Virgo energy. Strong Virgo energy. Very strong. Three of Pentacles, yeah. This feminine, you're, you're working on something that's about to bring you, like, a lot of wealth, a lot of abundance, a lot of success. You're like a, a powerhouse by yourself, 100% justice is here and you always receive this good karma and this justice because before someone here has your spiritual downloads your insight your spiritual strength your spiritual integrity your spiritual hygiene something somebody out here is very very spiritual you you're you're a very powerful manifester so it's like you could be very spiritual and this person is not they're they're coming out of this not like just so much worldly energy. Okay, let me tell you this. Because I'm seeing, I'm picking up two masculine energies. Some of you are dealing with a masculine from your past. Maybe they're starting to recognize you. They're very worldly. You know, like they're, they just, they're just out there. <laughs> they could be, you know, 
into partying just very different from you whatever more on the darker energy but then i'm picking up another masculine out here who is not so much worldly as in they make really bad decisions but they're not as they're not as conscious they're not as aware as you are this could be the same person while wow, it's 11 11. <laughs> this could be the same person so it's definitely like a um you're manifesting this Knight of Swords. I definitely pick, like, for some of you, there's a past person. They're like, wow, this person could already be in a marriage or commitment and they have children. They're like, wow, Divine Feminine was amazing. You know, why didn't I meet that person first? That could be, you know, what they think from time to time. And for some of you, maybe you'll reconcile with this person. For some of you, there won't be a reconciliation, but just know they, they see your worth and your value now that they are without you. But then there's this other energy, like I said, they they feel inspired to really become the best version of themselves to become this divine masculine. Whoever you end up with, though, you can be assured that like their personality is opposite of yours. Queen of Wands. Woo. This divine feminine energy that's been coming out lately is so strong. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. You're protecting everything that you've created. It's a, it's the divine feminine that has created like your own business empire. The Sun and the Eight of Wands, and you're protecting everything that you've created because you never gave up. And I feel like you guys are you're tapping in with your higher self, even with your angels and your guys, your spiritual team, and you're you're telling them what you need and what you want, and they're helping you to, to manifest exactly what you want. They're making sure that you receive the spiritual downloads that you need, but you're standing up for what you need, for what you want, what you believe in, especially your life purpose, and it's bringing you this sun energy, and you have a person now that's being manifested that's like, whoa, that's a real divine feminine. This person feels the need to hurry up and, you know, become more spiritually awakened and aware and ego. I told you. This emperor, they're like, I need to come out of my ego now. They want to get into their heart space. But this is stress. This is stressful because they're facing judgment. I feel like some of you, you have multiple people in your energy that's facing judgment. Somebody is, is releasing codependency. They're no longer being trapped by friends, family, this old toxic mindset. Somebody literally is losing sleep, having a bit of anxiety because, again, you have a person out here, they're looking over the past and they're like, man, why didn't why didn't I do better by divine feminine or masculine? Why, why did I take this path? And they want to go in a new direction. I feel like for a lot of you, you have somebody from the past that wants to come towards you now that they're becoming awakened. But you have a new person that's coming in also. You see this car? There's two men on here. You have two different people that are coming towards you. One could be an earth sign. One could be a fire sign. I feel like they both have Scorpio on their chart. So listen to me. This is very specific. Some of you have two different masculines coming towards you. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has a lot of Capricorn in their chart. Someone has Capricorn and Scorpio in their chart. One of these masculines could be an earth sign and one of them could be a fire sign. Okay. Or or a, it, it's like a fire and an earth sign. It's two different masculines. They both have fire and earth heavy in their chart. They're going through an awakening with the King of Cups, though, where they want to be honorable. They want to be trustworthy. They want to be devoted. Okay? One of these people you have a history with. They're going through an awakening. Yeah, here's the wheel. Unfortunate with the Queen of Cups. 
you're gonna have a new beginning with someone here and there's gonna be equal give and take some of you there is a possibility for you to reconcile with someone from your past you're needing to trust your intuition with the high priestess for some of you there's someone new coming into your life or they're in your life now but you and this person you have a past like you have a contract whoever you are though you're the divine feminine this high priestess energy you are awakening masculines these masculines now they have they're being forced into a, in a like alignment to be with you it doesn't matter if they're from your past they're in your life now or you even you haven't met them your partner is being manifested there's a signal that's being sent out though to any masculine that has been connected to a divine feminine and some of them are stuck with regret and disappointment because they went on to have you know choose a life with someone else and it could be too late and for some of you you're meeting masculines and as soon as they meet you they're they're being like pushed and forced into doing shadow work because these masculines can no longer fall into this trap that they have to do with their family wants. They have to stay with a person because of, of, of finances or because of family, whatever. These are illusions. Well, people now are like, I have to take, accept like responsibility for my actions from the past and, and get, you know, on track now. <clears throat> Your, somebody, your prayers have been answered or heard. Yeah, look, release. And the Ace of Swords. Somebody, there's a mask and they're releasing everything. Nine of Cups. Because they want wish fulfillment. They see you as their, their dream come true. As different or as quirky as you may be, this person knows the power of your divinity. They know your spiritual ranking. They know it. So th there's a need now for them to end everything that's standing in the way of this. Page of Swords, yeah. So this could be a secret admirer or you just have, somebody is watching you. Ten of Cups, wow. And the Five of Wands. There's conflict here. There's like competition. Somebody, it's like people are competing to be in a relationship or connection, a partnership with this divine feminine energy. But you're manifesting your happily ever after for sure. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands is here, the Three of Swords, and the King of Swords, Seven of Cups. Somebody who just could not seem to get out of this illusion here of thinking that it was okay for them to put you in third parties or to break your heart this you moving into this new journey this new cycle going towards your happiness your wish fulfillment it's got this person sick i feel like a lot of you are choosing new love you have a past person they're trying to present themselves to you like they're in a new energy as if the two of you can start over and it can be brand new and that's possible for some people but the majority of you you're starting over fresh you know you have the king of pentacles here the king of swords and the king of pentacles it's it's i told you it's an earth sign out here and here's the ace of wands six of swords <laughs> the hierophant earth sign taurus and then the world scorpio taurus scorpio energy strong we just had a full moon in scorpio I think that was during it was either during Aries or Taurus season. But someone is choosing to be very bold, passionate, courageous about moving forward with you. Because somebody wants to have this family. They want this. And this is something that can grow. For some of you, if you haven't met this person, now would be a good time for you to start really praying for this person and manifesting them because somebody is receiving the signal for sure. I mean, but it, it requires work. The world and the hierophant. You will, for somebody here, you will, you will marry this person. But you're, you're going into a spiritual, yeah, the world and the, 
the hierarchy, it's like, it's a spiritual union. It's a successful spiritual union. With the world card, this will happen this lifetime. Ten of Wands. Here's the Eight of Swords. Yeah. You've been working too hard or you've been working very hard to have this. Yep. Seven of Swords. To the point that you haven't had any peace. But here's the Empress. Finally. The Empress. Two of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Finally. You get your peace of mind back. Finally, you're aware of what's blocking you, what's been stopping you. Finally, you're being honest with yourself about what you truly want. And it's okay. If you know that you want to go back to a person from the past, me, nobody, no other reader can tell you not to do that. But if you know for a sure fact that no matter how much a person from your past has changed, that you still want to choose new love, that's what you need to do. Choose whatever is best for you. But some of you, for a long time, you've been unwilling or unable to make a decision the decision is being made now and it's leading you to the Ten of Pentacles. This is like amazing. Just a lot of truth, a lot of clarity coming out in the readings. It's like you want to take pride in your family tree. So you're, you're manifesting exactly what you want. You don't want any low hanging fruit. You, you want this to be how you want it to be. And I feel like for some of you with all that pentacle energy that I was saying, all that Virgo energy, you've been so strategic and so meticulous in everything that you've been doing to manifest a certain life that it's like, at this point, to be, it would be foolish for you to settle for less. It would be foolish for you to be in a situation that's not what you want when you've been so patient, so deliberate, so intentional in manifesting what you want that's what i'm saying whoever if somebody does not fit in your family tree the way that you want them to don't 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 create roots there phoenix wow see I told you it's heavy scorpio energy you could be learning something right now building like an online business when you were doing this it may have led to you needing to, um, you have here sadness, chaos, and time off. So some of you, you've been working really, really hard. You could have an online business where you're sharing some type of gift. For some of you though, you're being prepared, like I said, for even like a new gift. You're giving birth to something new. This could be the birth of a child, an idea, or a project. You're reinventing yourself, you're starting over. Alien is here. You could be feeling alienated or like you don't fit in. This is because God is moving you into something brand new where you're supposed to be seizing like new opportunities. And you have gifts, talents, and abilities that are going to bring in happiness, love, wealth, success, love, and other things. This is a good time for you to just start enjoying life, taking good care of yourself letting go of this this chaos and you know being disappointed and in regret and that's what i'm saying anything that makes you feel sad disappointed and regretful it's not for you it doesn't matter if it's something from the past something you're currently dealing with that's not the energy that you want to be in you've already you're already in this phoenix rising from the ashes type of energy so you're being a, like given a second chance at life literally where you get to manifest exactly what you want how you want it to. You do not have to settle in any way. Let's see. I'm going to pull a few of these love oracles and then leave it there. And for some of you, if a person is trying to come into your life, especially like a past person, they come in with drama and chaos. This person could already be married and have kids. There is something that they've done in their life, even if it wasn't to hurt you, that if they were to bring it into your life now, it's going to bring disappointment. It could be a new person. If someone comes into your life and they're bringing you chaos, drama, or sadness, that's not for you. That's not to say that you can't meet a person that's not in a period right now of learning new things and rebuilding. I'm not saying that it's meant to be perfect, but when someone makes you 
starting to take steps back, that's not for you. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. Wow. Take action now. Take the leap of faith. You have unexpected, surprising news coming in from someone that ran away from you. <laughs> this person now wants to communicate with you. They want to text you. They want to call you. And they want to tell you that they regret what they did. This person is missing you. They're in regret. And you may be, look, Divine Feminine, you may need to take time out right now to rest, to retreat, to step back and take a look at this situation. You have a clarity, yeah. I feel like for some of you, you have multiple masculines in your energy and you need to be clear on who has the best intentions for you because you have a Divine Masculine that really wants to be loyal, but I feel that you have someone else they're sorry for what they've done. You're going to just have to um, forgive this person. Either forgive somebody from your past or whatever and choose that maybe you are forgiving and you're accepting and y'all can start over. Or you're still needing to forgive this person and allow yourself to embrace new love and know that it's safe for you to love this new person. But to release all of the resentment from the past situation fully. Because somebody's coming in, a divine masculine, and they want to be loyal. But I feel like somebody, somebody is still in regret about you. And they, they want you really, really bad. You could be manifesting that the card is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I told you, that's, that's heavy here. But you're leaving something behind and you're receiving now the gift of romance. Somebody's going to wine and dine you and really take time out to get to know you. You and this person could be healing your inner child together. It's just a very healing, sweet, divine connection that's coming in for you.